Zune Marketplace isn't just a brand change for us. There's a lot of technology improvements that we're bringing to our video marketplace experience. The first one I'm going to show you is party mode. Now we're sitting here in uh, Tokyo right now and nobody else in, in my friends list is awake, but I'm going to invite Jerry Johnson uh, to my party. Even though he's not on right now, we've started a party. I'm going to make a suggestion to my party from my video library to play Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift. It's a game I actually rented this morning. I still have uh, time to play it. So I'm going to bring up to uh, Tokyo Drift, start playing it in party mode. If there were other members in my party right now, their avatars would actually show up and they'd run on the screen as you're going to see mine run onto the screen. And I can emote with my avatar. And other avatars, if they were on, could also do their own emoting. But I'm going to get out of this mode and show you full screen to show you some of the power that we're bringing to this video through the live services. Now what you see here is Tokyo Drift, the movie, streaming in real time. This is not installed on the console. It's not on our hard drive. This is streaming from the United States to this hotel room in Tokyo. The service isn't coming out in Tokyo. We haven't optimized it for Japan. Yet, we're going to get up to 1080p streaming here in a second. So we have instant on streaming, and it'll adjust to your bandwidth as needed. So I'm just going to jump forward into the movie here to actually show you some video footage from within the movie. And it's kind of grainy at the moment. It's going to readjust now, start queuing up some more data, and quickly pop to 1080p. And I think we're about HD right now. And if I start fast forwarding, there we go, we're up to HD now. We just get it back to play mode, and we'll get it up to, we've got it up to 1080p every, every session so far today, so we'll probably do the same thing here in a moment. So depending on your internet connection, and it could go up and down throughout the day, this stream will adjust to that, and it'll be transparent to you. What's happening in the background right now, it's adjusting resolution based on the connectivity that it can support. So it's nice, it doesn't pause, it doesn't pop up a, a little informational thing, it just changes it for you. Now, if it actually gets too degraded of an experience for you, you have the choice to download this game if, or download this video if you want to. So you can play it from your hard drive if you want to. You have choice there. And if I fast forward here, you can see we're actually at 1080p right now. We've got thousands of pieces of content here. And what we've enabled in Zoom Marketplace is the ability to search with text. So I'm just going to search for the word blade, um, if I can spell it correctly. Let's see, i got my chat pad here. And you'll see we have two movies that use the word Blade inside of it. So we have text search enabled for all the thousands of pieces of content that we have. So it's going to enable people to more quickly find the content that they're looking for. And the last thing I want to show you inside a television, I'll just pull up a, a random TV show. I've never even heard of Top Sniper. And with television shows, you can uh, usually purchase them. And I can purchase this one in standard definition. But what it's going to allow me to do, when I purchase this right now on the console, I can play this content on my Xbox 360, on my PC, or on my Zune device. So you get to purchase it one time and play it across all three of these screens. And I can stream television, I can download it to my console, and any of this content, if I download, I can delete it, and I can re-download it later if I want to. We store that license information in the cloud. So the last thing I want to show you today is uh, Facebook. We're bringing Facebook to all Xbox Live markets this fall. What's going to launch up here is uh, Facebook, and this is using my, my real Facebook profile. So let's uh, hope nothing offensive shows up. And what I can do from within my Xbox is uh, post an update. Once again, nice that I have the chat pad. And you can see my update is, has changed there. It's just talking to G4. Um, anybody on the PC right now would see that same thing. And what they'd see is they'd see an Xbox icon um, next to it saying that I posted from the Xbox. Another thing that's really nice about this is what we've done with the friends list. So I've got 394 friends on uh, Facebook, 
And I've got some friends, this is a test environment, so you won't see a lot of friends show up on the Xbox side. What we allow you to do now is do friend linker. So this is a list of all my friends who are Facebook friends, but not yet Xbox Live friends. But they have an Xbox Live account. So from here, I could say, hey, Corey, let, let's actually become Xbox Live friends. And I could invite him to Xbox Live as a friend. And on this page over here, what I've got is a list of all the people who are Facebook friends and Xbox Live friends. So maybe I've been playing against Home Read Gamertag for the past couple of years, but really didn't know who that was. And now I can remember, oh yeah, Home Read Gamertag is actually my friend Doug Beck. So we take both profile informations and merge them so you can know more about people. What we do when the user first launches this application is we let them choose whether or not they want other people to see this information about them. So it's up to the user to choose whether or not they want to share these two profiles and merge them together or not. Another thing that's really nice about the uh, Facebook application on the, the console and, and on the television, oh, there's a good one, nice, is the photo sharing, right? So today, photos are a big part of what people use Facebook for. People post a lot of photos and people like looking at other people's photos. But that's done on the PC today, and the PC is usually a single person experience. Very few people actually sit down with multiple people around a, a PC and share photos. What we can do here is we can bring up people's photos, and we'll bring up Aaron Greenberg's photos. He took a trip off to Argentina and, and took some nice shots of this waterfall. So now here we are in, in the living room sharing this, and we can have 10 people watching these photos all at the same time and actually have more social interaction and talk about them instead of just one person viewing them. So we think that uh, this will be a, a nice experience, and the better quality of the photo that you post to Facebook, the better it's going to look on the console. But the television is a great way to view and share photos. The other thing that we're launching alongside of Facebook is Twitter, and that'll be available in all Xbox Live markets also. So that's the, uh, the applications I'm going to demo for you.